Imagine yourself rushing through a bustling city street, your heart pounding with a mix of anxiety and determination. Today is a crucial day for you. You have an important meeting, a long-awaited opportunity that could shape your future. The position you've applied for represents a milestone in your career, a chance to showcase your skills and aspirations. The weight of anticipation rests heavily upon you as you navigate through the labyrinth of hurried commuters and traffic jams. Impatience creeps in like an unwelcome guest, fueling the urgency within you. Every don't walk light feels like an eternity threatening to unravel your carefully crafted plan. You check the time incessantly, feeling the minutes slip away like sand through your fingers. The stakes are high, and the thoughts of being late fills you with a mix of dread and frustration. This is the moment when patience becomes an elusive virtue, one you yearn to grasp. Hey guys, Henry here from Our Freedom Formula. Today, we're exploring Stoicism and how its teachings can help us tame the impatience monster inside of us especially in moments of high pressure. The Stoics recognize that impatience arises from our desire for control over external circumstances. They encourage us to shift our focus inward, finding tranquility by embracing what lies within our sphere of influence. So, how can we practically apply Stoicism to navigate through the challenges of impatience? Let's delve into some techniques that can bring us closer to a state of calm and clarity. Number one, the power of acceptance. While you are rushing through the city streets, remember the wisdom encapsulated in the serenity prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. As inevitable delays and unexpected obstacles arise, embrace the transformative power of acceptance. Recognize that certain elements are beyond our control and that harboring impatience only burdens our journey unnecessarily. We could, in a moment of delay on our way to the meeting, reframe our thinking. Instead of allowing frustration to consume us, we can shift our perspective and cultivate gratitude. Understand that this additional time allows us to mentally prepare ourselves for the meeting, to gather our thoughts and reflect on potential questions we could encounter. It's an opportunity to bolster our inner resilience and strengthen our resolve. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. By embracing the power of acceptance and reframing our mindset, we transform the experience of waiting into a valuable chapter of our journey. Rather than seeing it as a hindrance, recognize it as a chance for growth, self-reflection and the cultivation of patience. Remember, acceptance liberates us from the shackles of impatience allowing us to find gratitude in the unexpected moments that shape our lives. As we embrace the power of acceptance, we discover that the ability to reframe our thinking opens doors to gratitude and mental preparedness. This allows us to transform the way we experience the world around us. Embrace acceptance and you'll find that patience becomes a natural companion on your journey. Number two, controlling the internal dialogue. Impatience often comes from a negative internal dialogue. Pause and reflect on your thoughts when impatience arises. Or as I like to say, think about what you're thinking about. Challenge and reframe them. We can ask ourselves, is this impatience truly serving me in this moment? The great Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius wrote, If you are distressed by anything external, The pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. We can consider how our judgment about the delays may be the source of our distress, rather than the delays themselves. By consciously controlling our thoughts, we can shift our perspective and find peace even in the face of uncertainty. Instead of allowing frustration to consume us, we should shift our perspective. In this moment, we realize that the journey itself is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. We let go of the need for the immediate outcome and embrace the process. Instead of fixating solely on reaching the destination, 
we should choose to find joy and appreciation in the present moment. We can find joy in the people we encounter, the sights we behold, and the lessons we learn along the way. We need to remember that controlling our internal dialogue empowers us to find peace and joy in the midst of uncertainty, transforming the way we experience each step of our path. Number three, practice mindfulness. In the midst of our journey, embrace the power of mindfulness. We can engage in a profound awareness of the present moment, allowing it to anchor us in the middle of turbulence and impatience. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, advised, begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. By fully immersing ourselves in the present, we become less fixated on the future and more appreciative of the now. We can take a moment to pause and connect with our breathing, becoming attuned to the rhythm that sustains us. Notice the colours, sounds and scents that envelop us in our surroundings. By immersing ourselves in the present, we invite a sense of calm and clarity to prevail. During moments of waiting, instead of allowing impatience to consume us, reframe our perspective. We can become grateful for the invaluable time at hand. By embracing mindfulness and finding gratitude in the present moment, we can transform waiting into a gift a space for growth, self-reflection, and heightened awareness. It becomes a valuable component of our journey rather than an obstacle to overcome. Number four, harness the power of negative visualization. Before we head off on our journey to the important meeting, we should consider the practice of negative visualization. That's a technique utilized by Stoic philosophers to prepare for adversity and cultivate peace of mind. Allowing yourself a moment of reflection to imagine potential delays or the possibility of not obtaining the desired position can bring about peace of mind. We realize that our happiness isn't dependent upon the outcome of the interview. As long as we've done our best to prepare, that is all we can ask of ourselves. By envisioning potential challenges, you mentally prepare yourself for the unexpected. Delays no longer catch us off guard. Instead, we approach them with a sense of readiness and adaptability. Likewise, by contemplating the possibility of not securing the position, we develop resilience and a broader perspective. We recognize that setbacks are not the end, but rather opportunities for growth and redirection. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind and possessing a share of the divine. This practice allows us to cultivate empathy and understanding towards others embracing the common struggles we all face. By recognizing the shared nature of humanity, you approach interactions with patience and compassion, even in challenging circumstances. Additionally, consider the wisdom of Seneca. Set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself the while, is this the condition that I feared? By contemplating a simpler existence and minimalistic circumstances, we realize that our true contentment does not depend on our external achievements or possessions. This perspective grants us a profound sense of inner peace and freedom from the fear of failure. Through negative visualization, we develop resilience, adaptability, and a deep sense of gratitude for the present moment. By envisioning potential challenges, and embracing acceptance of all outcomes, we discover that true peace resides within us, regardless of external circumstances. In a world that often rushes by, Stoicism offers us the art of patience. By practicing acceptance, controlling our internal dialogue, embracing mindfulness, reframing our perspective, and practicing negative visualization, we can find freedom from our shackles of impatience. Remember, Stoicism is a journey, 
and even if we stumble and fall, we can get up and maintain our equilibrium. We can let go of mistakes and go back to our state of peace and happiness. Now, if you would like to grab hold of some books on Stoicism, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can get hold of several books. These books include Marcus Aurelius' Meditations, Epictetus' The Discourses, Seneca, Letters from a Stoic, William B. Irvine, A Guide to the Good Life, The Ancient Art of Stoic Joy, Epictetus, The Enchiridion, Brad Inwood, Stoicism, A Very Short Introduction, Massimo Pigliacci, How to Be a Stoic, Using Ancient Philosophy to Live a Modern Life, Einzelgänger, Stoicism for Inner Peace, Ancient Philosophy for Everyday Life. If you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not share and also leave a comment down below and let me know how you handle impatience. Just so you know, on the top left hand side of the screen is a video I believe you might like. Below that is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see an image of my head. Now if you click on that or poke me in the forehead with your finger, you'll be able to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.